Hi, my sweet friends, and welcome back to Crochet Every Day with Judy. Today I have some finished objects to show you and some more new yarn. So we'll start with the finished objects. This one is the Bush Tracker Beanie by Bag O'Day. She made a crochet version of Gary from Urban Yarns Bush Track knitted Bush Tracker Beanie. And I love her pattern, and I will be making more of these. So you can get that um, on Crystal at Bag o Day's uh, channel. I will link it below, and I'll also link uh, Gary's uh, Urban Yarn uh, channel below in case you are a knitter and would like to make his version. Next, I have, and this was my first ever doing this pattern. This is a corner to corner blanket. I folded it up right side in and I won't be able to show the whole thing but you'll get the idea. And I used a Lion Brand cupcake yarn and I'm sorry I don't remember the colorway but and it's not right at hand. Um, but I can show you another Lion Brand Cupcake yarn in a similar colorway. Here's one, and this one is the colorway Sandcastle. Um, now this one just has more blues in it and greens, but I love the corner to corner stitch. And so um, then I also made a little lovey to go along with this blanket and this is a little frog plushie that I got for 98 cents or 97 cents at Walmart and I used the pad the lovey pattern from Z uh, at Zelda NRJ3 and I will link her channel below and if I can I will link the pattern video for this and and for the uh, the bushwhacker our bush tracker beanie. So those are my finished objects. And then I will show you the yarn. Oh, and for the bush tracker beanie, I used Premier Just Yarn that I got at the local Dollar Tree. Now this yarn, um, it took more, a little more than one skein because this is 131 yards. Uh, 2.11 ounces, 100% acrylic yarn, number four weight, and you use um, five millimeter uh, knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter hook. Now, I used an H hook because that's what Crystal called for in her pattern. I actually started out using an I hook, and it may it was way too big, coming out way too big. So I did uh, take it apart and switch to the five millimeter the h hook and it came out perfectly um so that's she says any worsted yarn and an h or five millimeter hook so that really works out the best okay so from lion brand i got more yarn um this is the favorite color of shawl and a ball for um lisa at ladybird loves and I bought it on her recommendation. And I only bought the one because I wanted to try it. And I may buy more of this color if I, and I'm sure I'll like it because I love blue. And of course, sparkle is my favorite color. So um, you probably all know about Shawl in a Ball. This is the Wind Chimes colorway. And it's a number four weight, um, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 481 yards in this. Uh, 440 meters, um, as I said, a four weight, although it is roving actually, because it has thicker and thinner uh, uh, strands to it. So it's more like a roving. And this is, they always show how the colorway works up, I think in knitting rather than crochet, but um, I love it for crochet too. A lot of people don't like shawl in a ball, but I really like it machine wash gentle lay flat to dry 61% um, cotton 34% acrylic 5% other fiber so that's the sparkly and um, made in Turkey and as I said wind chimes is the colorway 
So there's that show in a ball. Then I had never tried this yarn, so I decided to get some of it, and I got um, four of them. They come through to a package, so this one was uh, left out. This is Sunset Lion Brand Sunset Nights in the colorway Dolomite. Dolomites. Which I believe Dolomite is a, um, a kind of a stone, a colored stone. This is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 274, 273 yards, 250 meters, 90% acrylic, 10% polyester. Very, very soft. A number four weight, and it calls for five millimeter knitting needles or a 5.5 millimeter hook. Machine wash gentle, lay flat to dry. Uh, made in PRC. No, I'm sorry. Yes, PRC. Okay. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, it has sequins in it. Not a lot, but just a few. I can see a few here, but I don't know if you, oh, there's, yeah, there's a couple of them. So this has sequins in it, um, but it's Sunset Nights. So I'm looking forward to trying this one, and I will let you know what I think of it when I, when I use it. Um, at uh, 273 yards, this is close to 1,000 yards that I got. So um, that'll be fun to, to work up. Maybe, oh, this, I know it's a number four, but I'm thinking maybe a, a top. A, a little shirt with some short sleeves uh, for cooler springtime and fall weather. Might be fun. So thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below because I always read all my comments and I always heart them and I try and answer every one of them. Um, I love your comments and getting to know you through your comments and helping you to get to know me better. Um, I will be doing the 10 Yarny Questions uh, video soon, possibly today, possibly tomorrow. But uh, I also do readings on my channel. So if you'd like to be read to, if you've bought audiobooks, you don't have to spend the money on audiobooks. You can come listen to those of us on YouTube who read books. Uh, currently, I'm reading a... Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain. Uh, I just finished Jane Eyre by Emily Bronte, I believe. Um, and I've read other books and they're in playlists on my channel. So you can go and check them out and you can just run a playlist and listen to a whole story, a whole book. So anyway, uh, thank you again so much. I appreciate every one of my YouTube family and I love you all. And I want you to remember that you are the light of the world, so be sure to let your light shine because you never know when someone else might need your light to get them through their darkness. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.